In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a proper TWRP backup on your mobile phone so that whenever you are trying to switch to a new room that you're not certain about, you can always back it up and in case you get disappointed later on, you can always restore it and save your time by installing every single application again and logging into it as well. Later in this video, at the end, you will be seeing what are the things that you should not do or do as well as what are the use case scenarios that you should apply while doing this backup. So make sure you do watch it till the end, else you might miss a lot of things. Without wasting any time now, let's start the video. Now before I even start this video, there is a lot of false information on the internet that in order for you to backup this, you need to have root. And right away, I'm going to show you that my K20 Pro which is running on Evolution X is not rooted. So that's first thing. In order for you to back up, all you need is a TWRP recovery and you don't need root. My K20 Pro is not rooted. And here I'm going to show you what's installed on my phone as of now. This is Evolution X version 5.9.2 running Android 11 and having the security patch of 5th September 2021. With that said, let me go ahead and reboot my phone to TWRP by going here and recovery. With that, my phone's gonna end up in TWRP recovery and after that, I'm gonna show you how to make the backup. Once you boot up to TWRP, you have to head to this backup option. Once you're here, it's gonna show you all the partitions. Now make sure you select every single partition even if it says 0MB. You can basically skip the 0MB but for the sake of it, select all the things that you are doing here. And in here, you can go to options in. Enable this, enable compression. What this will do is reduce the size of the entire backup, which will help you if you're running low on space. And under backup, if you go to here, select storage. If you have an external SD card, you can select there. And that will help you make the backup in that external storage. And then click OK. Or if you even have an OTG, you can literally go there, select the OTG, and that will also put the OTG pen drive in that option. And the backup will then go there. If you want to edit the name of this backup, you can quickly do that here as well by putting some specific name that you remember what ROM it was and what date it was taken. And after you are satisfied with all these options, if you really want some extra protection, you can encrypt your backup with a password. But I wouldn't really recommend you to do that because if in case you forget the password, you're going to lose the backup. Once you have all this thing done, all you have to do is swipe this. And it's going to show you that it's going to start the backup. This is the total size that this backup is entirely made of, which is 18.5 gigabytes approximately. And this is how much it's done. So meet you after the backup is complete. Now that the backup was complete, what I'm going to do is go to wipe, advanced wipe and clear all these options without clearing the internal storage. That's important because that's where my backup is right now. If I clear that, my backup will be gone swiping and that's gonna let it happen now a lot of people will say that i skipped the backup that's because i already have backed it up before to make this video quicker i have the backup already on this phone and i have removed everything now i'm gonna quickly put some rom on my phone so that i can install it so right here if you see i have dot os version 5.1.3 for k20 pro as well as the vendor that i would require before flashing that rom because of the specific vendor requirement now this brings me to this point while we were backing it up I told you to back up everything including the vendor because that room would require a specific vendor and if you back it up together it's gonna help you a lot. Now right now since I didn't really need any vendor I can always uninstall it but I have already done it I'm just doing it again to be double sure about it. So right here I'm gonna go to install this vendor as well as this room and then I'm gonna swipe it and let it happen. Right here, you can see .OS installation is successful. All I have to do is reboot my system. And let's hope that I get that .OS animation right here. And there you have it. Now, since my .OS installation is successful, I can see that this is properly installed. Everything I can use here. But for example, you do this and you don't really like this ROM anymore. And you really want to switch back to what you were before. In my case, it was Evolution X. So the way to do it is again, open up your recovery, which I'm going to boot into, which is TWRP recovery. Once you're there in TWRP recovery, make sure you go to wipe, advanced wipe and select all the partitions that you have to remove. 
You have to select everything here besides the internal storage and USB OTG because those might be the places where you want to collect the data in. So I'm going to swipe and this is going to clear every partition. This was our old ROM that already went off. Now you have to go back and click on restore and it's going to show you the backups that you have made previously. This is the one that I made with Evolution X and I have to make sure that all the partitions here are selected. And I'm going to swipe it. It's going to take some time for restoring the backups that I have made before. Once your TWRP restore is complete, you'll be seeing restore completed in and then the time mentioned. At this point, make sure you do not wipe anything and just click on reboot system. Your system's now going to be booted up to the point where you actually backed up everything. So same room, all the apps installed in the state they were, as well as the lock screen. That is important if you lose your lock screen or if you forget the lock screen when you were backing it up, it's better to remove the lock screen and then back up else you might not even be able to get inside. Now, as you can see, things are still loading. I don't have the wallpaper and my widgets are messed up and it's slowly gonna load everything up. Now, as you can see, I left my phone for some time and here I have all the applications, but again, my status bar is not there as well as my wallpaper is missing and I'm not going to open any of these apps because I know what to do. Right at this point, if you stuck here, like if you're stuck here, you would probably also not end up seeing any power menu. So the best option is to hold the power menu for around 10 seconds and your phone's going to restart automatically because it would require a normal restart for things to again set it up and properly be visible for you. That's what I'm going to do. And hopefully this time around, you'll be able to see everything as it was before you even backed it up. So right here, you can see the wallpaper came up and the clock and stuff is there. I had removed the lock screen, so it's not on there anymore. But all the settings status bar, you can see it's there and all the settings as I had kept is already there as well. And right here for the WhatsApp, it might give you error if in case you're logging in here more than 24 hours later. So if that is the case, you quickly go in here, first, first stop it and or probably you can even just go and uninstall it. Because if you uninstall it, you can reinstall and whatever data or all the images that you actually had on your phone would again return back since you made the WhatsApp backup. Make sure you make WhatsApp backup before even starting to make the backup of this entire room. But as you can see, all the applications are already installed and are in the same state as I left before. Whereas like normal scenarios, you have to install all the applications back again and that would take a lot of time for you as well. Along with the browser as well, all the tabs that I had opened before are still open here. And if I go into, let's see, let's see, let's see what I can pop into. If I go to Pokemon Go, probably the game might still be there. I haven't had, I haven't logged in it. So it's going to ask me to log in again, but all the data of this game, I think would still be preserved and same would go with PUBG and all the other applications that I have here. So this is the way that you can back up everything that you want and then later on restore and come back to the same point as which you backed up. There are some things that you should be really careful about when you make this kind of backup. First of all is never store your backup that you just made on your internal storage because at times while you will be installing a new ROM, it would ask you to format it because of the encryption of your device. So best way is to use an OTG cable or store that backup on an SD card so that you never lose it. Next thing that you should always look out for is do not skip a partition while you backup a specific ROM because at times different ROMs have specific changes in some specific partitions. And when you do that, when you skip a partition while you restore, it might give you an error. So make sure you back up everything, all the specific partitions that it shows you and restore all the specific partitions as well. Now that brings me to the third point. Before restoring, make sure you clear out all the partitions and every data of the previous ROM and then only do it. Else it might override sometimes and you might end up getting systems crashing. Fourth and final thing that might happen to you is when you restore your complete ROM back and when you reboot your phone, it might freeze for some time. So best way is to leave your phone for some time until it loads all the data and the apps, unlock it and if in case you find some applications crashing, restart your phone. That usually fixes it. And for WhatsApp specifically, do not rely on the backup that you did 
with this TWRP because all the images, videos and documents that are staying on your storage, internal storage will get wiped out when you change or like format your data. So what I always recommend is use WhatsApp backup instead. Backup your WhatsApp right before uninstalling the complete ROM and doing the TWRP backup and then restore WhatsApp after you restore the ROM. That way all the images, all the videos and all the conversations will still be there rather than you only having the conversations and losing all the media files. That was all the things that you should remember. So with that, I end today's video. In case you like it, don't forget to leave your like as well as comment down below what you thought of this video. If in case you have some specific request to make that I should review a ROM or a gadget or a specific video you want me to pump, let me know in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because that's how you will get my latest videos every week. And I'll be catching you guys later in another week with another video. Until then, take care and peace.